Ever so often, I bump into someone and the first thing they would tell me is, I'm just surviving. I just have to cope for this month if I only can get through this year. And that actually made my mind thinking, how many of us are just surviving or we only live to cope? And you might say, you know, it's not so easy if you just make ends meet if you only get to get the kids going and everybody's okay, I've survived. Whose choice is that? You have to make that decision of either start living or just coping. And let me explain to you, because the moment we start going into that mentality, I just need to cope. I just in survival mode. We go into flight and fight mode. And what happens is we don't live, we don't see opportunities, we don't live according to our potential. My question to you is very simple. How long do you want to stay in survival mode? How long do you just want to cope? Now I understand very clearly that when times are tough, and I'm not just talking financially, but even emotionally, when we feel drained, you actually cannot handle any more stress. It's very difficult to sit aside and say, hold on, let's see how we can get out of this. Or hold on, let's see how we can better our lives. Because what we really want to do, I just want to get through this day. And that is when we have to start changing our mindset. Because the moment we change our mindset, we can get out of survival mode. How long do you want to stay there? Now think about it. If I'm only in coping mode today, I will really go back and I will say, well, if I only can do this video, and the moment the video is done and when I finish speaking to you and you left, then at least I can start doing what? Get to bed? Maybe go watch a TV? Maybe make a cup of coffee and feel sorry for myself? How many of us have found ourselves into coping mode. Isn't it time we switch over out of coping mode and go into advanced mode where I do the thinking, where I have to change things? How long do you want to stay in coping mode? Now let me explain to you. I can sit here and I can go immediately and say, okay, well, let's think about this. And as you all know by now, I hate the word, just think positive. I didn't believe thinking in positive will change life. But I do know and I absolutely believe if I change my mindset, things will turn out to be a positive lifestyle. It will have a positive outcome. So how do I change my mindset? Again, what are you thinking today? What are you saying today? That's the difference. And the moment I can go one step back and I can say, I'm not in survival mode. This is part of life. Think about it. If I have made a decision to go and do um, see a client and I meet with this client and as I arrived, he's got an emergency and we have to reschedule. If I'm in coping or survival mode, my first attitude would be, oh, I am just surviving. Every single client is so negative and miserable. But if I am in living mode, this is life. Things happen. An opportunity to come back again and build this relationship. Because for me, understanding that he's got an emergency, I've just built a relationship. I showed him I'm understanding. How different was that perception? Totally. Everything we do, we can either see it negative and as if we just have to survive, or I'm doing it with a purpose to live. If I have a hundred rand today and it covers basically my daily budget, there's no room to say, I can spend something on something I like or what's left. I ask you, how many things 
can you do which doesn't cost a cent, which will make you live? A bit of gardening, maybe a bit of pampering, maybe writing a novel, or whatever you want to do. There's so many little things we actually overlook when we are in coping mode. I met a client last week and the only thing he said to me, if I can only get through this December, and my question was, and then what? This year was a very difficult year for a lot of us. But it's how are we going to end it? Are we going to look at it and say, one of my worst years ever? Or am I going to say, I lived this year through its challenges. I didn't just survive. And what happens with your mindset right there and then? The moment I realized I lived through the challenges, I am so much stronger for whatever 2020 will bring. Isn't it time? Start changing your mindset. Start living. Change and get out of that mentality. I just have to cope. No. You have to start living life to the fullest. Why don't you can visit my website, lizettefalkman.com and learn a lot more about how we can start living instead of coping. I am Lizette Falkman, living life beyond the obvious.